Now this is what a leader does. Check this out. I'm also directing Florida Department of Transportation to temporarily waive the collection of tolls and other fees for commercial vehicles. using public highways in Florida and waiving the size and weight restrictions normally governing vehicle transportation for the duration of this emergency. This will help expedite the movement of goods that have been impacted from seaports to intermodal logistics centers, distribution centers, and delivery points. So it's no secret that there is chaos and crazy going on in our world, right? Call it what you want, well, you know, going on in our country right now, but, but with that being said, Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida, whose state was ravaged by this hurricane, including Georgia and North Carolina. Coming through the remote mountains in western North Carolina, hoping to locate those still missing and those in need of supplies. You know, being devastated by this storm. To watch him step up, this is the example of what kind of leadership we need in this country. So why can't they do this in our country? You know, when they see that Americans are hurting hurting people are hurting i mean you literally have homeless veterans that are still not taken care of and this is just one people group i mean you have american citizens right now that are struggling and they allow this migrant crap to continue going on pardon my french but from what i recently heard fema has spent almost a billion dollars over the last two years sheltering and paying for all these illegal immigrants that's where this money has been coming from. So here you got somewhere between 10 and 20 million people. Nobody knows the actual number, counting the ones that got away, so to speak. So the point I'm trying to make is with all the crazy going on in this country, and I'm asking you guys to just forgive me because like a lot of people, I am upset, but ultimately I know that God is in control even of all this chaos, even though many would say he can't be in control, but trust me, he is. So I don't want to get lost in the sauce. But let me go back for a moment. Hold on. Let me go back even further to what I was talking about before. <laughs> Regarding the amount of money that I heard that Homeland Security in Mayorkas has been spending on this migrant garbage. That's been going on for the last four years. Yeah, I said it again. The director of Homeland Security, Mayorkas, came out and announced within the last two days that they have very little to almost no money or almost out of money. Say what? How can they be out of money? Because they've been funding this, this illegal immigration crap for the last four years. This column of humanity heading north from the countries of Central and South America. You got people that are hurting in this country. Hurricane ravaged states right now. You got this port strike thing going on. People are already freaking out like they did during COVID and going out and buying toilet paper and other stables and things of that nature. So let me go back to what I was saying. Let me fast forward back to what I was saying before I went back. I'm so confused. I know I'm all over the place. I'm just hot today. So what Governor Ron DeSantis did or is doing is how things should be in this country. You know, truck drivers have to pay taxes and tolls. So for him to come out and say he's going to allow them to not have to pay the tolls or do any of that stuff until this emergency situation is over. Why can't we do that in this country? You know, and I'm not even talking about a national emergency. When you see a people group hurting, why can't we all get together and fix the issues? It's like they don't want it. If Governor DeSantis can do this in his state, what he's doing, why can't we? Why can't this be spread out in a lot of other situations that are happening in America? I want to take my hat off to Governor DeSantis. I was blown away when I saw what it was that he is doing in this circumstances. So again, why can't more leaders, including our government, step up and do this? Why? Why? I don't have all the answers. Clearly I don't. And a lot of stuff doesn't make sense, I'm sure, to me as it does you. And as we move closer to this election season, look at what we've dealt with the last four years. And look at what we've dealt with the previous four years and make an informed decision. As everybody's been saying, are you better off now than you were four years ago? I love you guys and I will check you on the next one. I gotta go cut the grass. Peace.